so was he born, and so did he fall. And when the pitch black sunset stains the northern sky, another maple leaf will herald his coming. chat so welcome back well i'm starting a new let's play it's gonna be maple story because they're giving free rewards and you know me i cannot ignore free rewards plus it's also the game that started it all for me because when i was a wee child at the babysitter my friend victor would let's play maple story on his laptop it was the first time that i discovered the internet because i didn't know what the internet was at then at that point but yeah, he showed me Maple Story and he let me play his. I think he was playing an assassin. It was like level 40. And then he logged on into his uncle's Dragon Knight, which was so cool. It was probably the coolest thing I've ever seen back then, which made me want to play. But I didn't have a laptop or anything. But yeah, but then in, I believe in sixth grade. I think it was around the same year, pretty much. Uh, I got a laptop and then I started playing MapleStory, but I didn't get far back then. I got to like level 56 as a Spearman. Because I had the level 50 chainmail armor and I had the Red Serpent Spear, I believe. I remember spending hours grinding on slime in El Elania to like get to level 30 using a two-hand sword. But man, those were the times, really. But anyways, with the Explorer getting a revamp and Nexon sending me a bunch of spam mail saying, Oh, the game's changed. It's so much better. So I just tried. Why not try it out? I have never reached level 200, so probably be a journey to then. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if I'll reach 200 at the end of this Let's Play. Because I might just get bored or be like, I think this is it for me. But yeah, let's start. Required the girl with the maple leaf hairpin. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, hi. Also, I mean, well, I'll, I'll tell you guys later, huh? Too busy. Could you help me find it? I. Well, it's really important to me. Sure. Oh, really? Thanks so much. It's about this big and it looks like a maple leaf. I lost it around here, so it's probably hiding under a bush someplace. Let's search through the leaves and bushes. So it does not change the quest for it does it's slow also to note i tried out i tried the game out a bit earlier and um it's a bit shaky laggy stuttery i don't know why apparently this game doesn't work well with usb uh, peripherals um, corsair razor some other stuff so it probably might stutter i hope it's not too bad but i'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to push through hopefully also, this is a burning character, so we'll try to do some theme dungeon story, give or take, and I'll probably read through it. But with the burning, I might be, I might over level it, and I'm not sure if the quest will still let me do it or will it not let me. So we'll see about that too. Ooh, jump down, down, go left. Yeah, they just like stutter right there. Also, is it just me or is the game really grainy? I'm not sure if that's supposed to. I'm playing on 1080. 
but it does it did say beta so uh, maybe maybe not the girl with the maple leaf complete let's go back up um jump up here is that not a side okay Oop. wait can i just click talk to her from here i think i can Oh wow, they even changed the picture with the maple leaf hairpin. That's nice. It's Leftia, or Lefty for short. Lefty, Lefty. Yeah, that's a pretty cool name. Thank you. Because I want to name her Lef, but it was taken. So I just kept adding words till they let me put. The reason I'm playing a female is because my main is a male. Because I have tried the game again. I believe five years ago? Or maybe? It's maybe six or seven? Or eight? It's pretty a long time ago. But I made um, a um, Chief Bandit. It's my favorite class because of the. I believe it was called Assaulter or Assassinate. It's where you would dash through and cut a maple leaf. And it's really cool because it was like the class was really mobile and you could jump around and get into the next floor by assassinating the enemy on top. And it also has a pretty sweet, simple animation. But they changed it. That's a pretty cool name. I don't know. I always thought it was kind of boring. No, it isn't. I'm the one that thought of the name. It's a pretty cool name. Well, I like it, and I promise I won't forget it. Also, did her... Didn't she have voice acting? Where is it gone now? You know what? Here. Let me give you some supplies for your adventure. Thank you, Mysterious Stranger. I mean, Mysterious Sugar. Okay. I got potions. Also, since this is a burning character, they gave me all this stuff. That's a lot of healing. 2x EXP and equip? No. I just set it on X. X, X, X. She must think I'm a beginner explorer. I should be honest and clear that up. Um, thank you, but I'm not an explorer. I just live here. At the beginning, I thought, also thought this was an isekai because the way they were telling the story and how the pro tag was picking up the book. So I thought we were about to suck in the, be sucked into the story, Maple story. And yeah, I like reading about explorers and adventures and all that. But yeah, I just came here to read a book under the maple tree. I guess it's just a tree. I like this one for some reason. There's some history to it, you know. Supposedly the great hero got started right here. Foreshadowing. The one from the Maple Tree Legend, you know the story, right? Yep. He wandered through a world in chaos. That's the guy. This tree right here. This is the one he loved. Or so they say. So then his fans got together here and built a town, and a lot of them became explorers to sort of carry his legacy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow. You know a lot. Nah, everybody here knows that. Still, it's cool stuff. So, are you gonna go on an adventure too? You wanna be part of that legacy? I don't know. I never really thought about it. I don't have a lot of reason to leave the town yet. I never fought anything, never even caught a snail. That will change soon, in just a few minutes. Tell you what, you found my hairpin. Let me help you. Okay. I know I'm awkward, but I'm also pretty strong. Wanna see? 
How strong? Is she gonna destroy this tree? I mean, from our saying there, that means she's really strong. Since we couldn't kill a snail, she killed like 10? And she was also lift up that box full of heavy snail shells. Which, now that I think about it, might not be that heavy. Are snails even that dangerous in this world? You mean the Sangrula? Yep. So now what? You can always catch more snails. Oh, could you help me with that? Me? Um, I'm not too good at that. Is she Does she do all that just to get us to start becoming an explorer? Didn't you say you were strong? Come on, we can find some over this way. All right, let's follow Sugar. Also, why does she keep stopping like every four steps? Well, it doesn't look like she's going to listen. Might as well follow her. I mean, she might have rewards. I do love me some rewards and side quests. Now that I think about it, I don't do Maple Story side quests often. I remember back then, all I did was just grind in the same spot. Probably try to do story here. Alright, let's follow the path. Snails. And that's the stuttering I was talking about. I have no idea why it does that. KOs. You perform a multi KO by defeating three monsters, three or more monsters at this. Okay, I should read faster. Um, I guess. Can't see shit. Get, get this out of here. Sugar the Mighty. Hey, hey, good, you're here. Sugar's request. You said you never caught a snail, right? Well, I bet you could totally do it. I totally might not be able to. I totally might die. Just try to hunt the snails right around here and get five snail shells. I totally don't get why you're trying to peer pressure me into helping you. Thanks. How many does she need? Five. I knew you could do it. Here, take these ones. Oh, what am I supposed to do with these? I need to get ten to get on board, and I already found enough on my end. So why'd you ask me to help you? Look at her. This scheming little girl. I don't need a ticket though. Well, listen. You said you've never been on an adventure because you're afraid of snails, right? I did not say those words. Now look at you. You're a full-fledged snail hunter. I didn't say I was scared of them. I just never caught them before. There's a difference. I'm not scared of adventure if that's what you're thinking. So, what's the problem then? There is no problem. I just don't have a reason to go. I mean, people just don't drop everything off and take off, right? You have to be on a mission or something. And before she's like, I'll give you a mission to start being an adventurer. Like finding a treasure or getting stronger, that kind of thing. Well, every adventurer has their 
own reasons, really. Some people do go out with a specific mission in mind. Others, not so much. Yeah, it's for the adventure, the journey. You sound like you know what you're talking about. Are you an explorer? Yep. My reason was... Friends. Um, I have to make them first. So, that's what I'm trying to do. Well, I figured if I traveled around enough, there'd be somebody out there who got me. <laughs> that sounds so dumb now that I say it out loud. Not to me, it doesn't. It doesn't. Seems like as good as any reason. Hey, all right. You know, the way I heard it, the Maple Tree Hero used to be a regular person. If, hmm, if I became an adventurer, what would be my goal? I guess it would be for the money and for the journey, really. I would want to go around, see everything, explore everything. See what other cultures are like and just mm -hmm. yeah pretty simple although the money be second the journey be first because I think the experience would be much better. You've got a pretty good heart yourself. I bet you'd make a great explorer. A good heart? Me? Of course. We just met, and you've already helped me twice. Who knows? Maybe someday I'll tell your story. The second Maple Tree Hero. I mean, if it's highlighted, it's part for shadowing something. Okay, that's definitely over the top. Oh, we're getting a flashback already. What was that shiny maple leaf? Now listen, um, if you do go on an adventure, you'll have a lot of hard times, but a lot of good times too. So, uh, how would you feel about having an adventure with me? Oh wait, no, I take that back what I said earlier. It would be journey, the food of different cultures, and then the money. I like trying new things out. Maybe that glowing maple leaf was a sign. I might find out if I go with her, should I? Yeah, let's go. You only live once. You're not just saying that, are you? <sighs> All right, let's get our tickets. All right, let's go. The leg. Man, a lot of these NPCs I recognized from a long time ago. No, the Chief never looked like that before. I feel like some of them got redesigned. My. Hi, are you going to, are you going on an adventure? Yeah, I am. Hmm, not just anyone can sell out and face the world. Before I send you off with a ticket, you're going to have to show me what you got. All right, you brought all 10 snails here. Here's this ticket, we'll get you on board. Just give it to Vaseline. Vaseline at the dock and you'll be on your way to Victoria Island. I wish you all the best of luck and here's, here's a little something to help you along. Thank you. Everyone's just cheering me on. And before everyone's just gas Gaslighting me. First Explorer box. Ooh, new outfit. Throw this away. 
throw this away. I wish this game had a summoner class. Oh, am I supposed to talk to them? Okay. Bye. Bigs. Armor store. Pan. Man, this music is so nostalgic. I remember riding the ship and getting killed by Borog the first time. There's Vaseline. Victoria Island or bus? Alright, your ticket checks out. Welcome aboard. Yo, my name's Olive. Who are you guys? Oh, uh, hi. I'm Sugar. I'm Lefty. That looks really dangerous. And I don't want to talk right now. Try not to bug me. No one asked you then. Mind your own business. I am not. I'm your new party member. I was trying to build some team rapport for crying out loud. All right. The five of us are officially a party now. Is that how that works? You just Whoever was on the boat with you, it becomes your party member at that time. I thought you usually check or meet up at a hub or inn and then figure out who you want to be a party with. A party. So when you get to Victoria Island, what are you going to do first? Train. I'm going to find the world's most precious jewel. Once I get all filthy rich, they'll call me the bowman with the diamond arrows. Bo woman? Yeah, I think it's gender neutral. So, how about you? I don't have any big ambition like that, although I would like to learn more about the maple leaves. I know, it sounds weird, but I found a strange leaf up on Maple Tree Hill. A strange maple leaf? Yeah, it flew straight at me and it glowed. Oh, a glowing maple leaf, that sounds like a mystery worth solving. Or it could have been your imagination. Hmm, you think? First thing I'm gonna do is sign on with the Nautilus and become a pirate. You certainly do have the outfit for it. I wouldn't disagree. I'm gonna rule the seas like a boss. <laughs> now look who's all talkative. You with the hat. What's your name? What do you wanna be? I'm Rondo. I wanna be a thief. I mean, kinda sounds like it too. So, she's a bowman, pirate guy, thief. So, is Sugar gonna be a mage or a warrior? Thieves are cool. They're like the shining blade in the shadow. Oh, you're so loud. Um, I want to be a magician. A magician, also cool. All right. Stop being so loud. I like these cute emotes. I always like the game because they're so chibi-ish. <laughs> you're sugar, right? So I take it you're going to Millennia? I want to be a cleric and help my friends. Aw. Aw, that sounds so nice. You want to travel with me? Aulis wants to take advantage of that one cleric skill. Unless they changed it now. I think cleric had an EXP skill or a more spawning skill or something. I know they also had the dragon. Oh, actually, I'm already traveling with my friend here. Sorry. <laughs> Rejected. See, I'm loud, Olive, but at least people like me. I do like you. I just don't worry, sugar. He's just a jerk. So yeah, how about you? What do you want to be? Well, I already decided. From checking my account of, of the characters I attempted to train. 
I would burn them, but you have to make a new characters to burn them, so... Because uh, I would start a character and then I'll be like, oh man, the grinding's terrible. But that was back then, and this is now. It might be different, so... But I'm gonna be a magician. A magician. I want to search for knowledge and truth. That would be perfect for you. You can change your mind if you want to when we get to Victoria Island. So you've got a little more time to think about it. Uh, All right, finally. Uh, finally, alone in the quiet. After calming the chaos of the world, the legendary explorer lay down to rest beneath the maple tree. Inspired by his legend, countless people over the years have followed their dreams of adventure. Am I gonna get copyright for this? So my question is, where will your adventures take you? To the summit of strength? It's a really cool animation. To the edge of freedom. The selfless acts of sacrifice in defense of the weak. To a quest for hidden power. So many adventures. Whatever gets in your way. If you have the confidence to face it, and the grace to see clearly on the battlefield. Man, assassin is so cool. Your explorations might lead you to great fortune. Although, you might also encounter great misfortune. All that you've known, all that you hold dear, it could all burn away in an instant. Even so, give it everything you've got. And if you fall down, oh, the shadow work, best class, my favorite. Even though they took away assassinate or assault her. Nothing's ever certain. Not victory, and not defeat. Your enemies will be strong. They'll push you to the limit. You might even want to give up. But I believe in you. Is this the perspective of every class? And in your pure, unshakable will. No matter how dark the nightmare, fire that will like an arrow. And split the fear ahead of you. <laughs> Tearing through the webs of doubt and disbelief. Shining like the sun for all to see. One day, you'll face your final greatest challenge. But all your struggles, all your wins and losses, will have made you ready for it. Your journey will end as it began, with determination and clarity. Tell me your story, and it'll grow like a tree. Take root in the earth. And this is a like seeds really mo a motivational video. <laughs> it got me hyped. Hyped to deal with that copyright I'm going to have to deal with. I'm going to go on ahead. I'll catch you later. All right, buddy. See ya. You should probably learn to walk properly, just like I should learn how to read properly. Man, 1080. Hey, Rondo. This game kind of doesn't look five? that great. All right. And we're going to stop here. We have reached Cliff Harbor. And with that amazing 
animation cutscene too. That was really cool. But man, that game, that video has got me hyped. I'm hyped to play as an explorer again. Because, pretty sure to my knowledge, they kept releasing a bunch of different classes that weren't part of the explorer. Because I have a bunch of their emails in my spam. But I was like, oh, I don't really want to come back. But yeah, and with that, that's the start of our journey. And we will continue on next time. I'll see you guys later. Also, I like how when I talk, I'm just making gestures like I'm some kind of Power Ranger. And no one's even seeing it. So I'm like, what's the point of it? Anyways, bye really now.